Welcome to my channel. Today, we have an important topic to discuss, hyperthyroidism. This condition affects millions of people worldwide, and it's crucial to understand its causes, symptoms, treatment options, and complications if left untreated. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you never miss any of our informative videos. So, let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the thyroid gland and its essential functions. The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped organ located in your neck, and it plays a significant role in our body by producing two primary hormones, thyroxine, T4, and triiodothyronine, T3. Now let's discuss important functions of thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormones help to regulate metabolism, maintain body temperature and control heart rate, influence mood, energy levels, and mental alertness, support healthy skin, hair, and nails, promote proper growth and development in children, regulate menstrual cycles in women. So, what happens when the thyroid gland goes haywire and produces an excessive amount of thyroid hormones? This leads to hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism occurs when there's an overproduction of T3 and T4. The most common cause is an autoimmune disorder called Graves' disease. Other causes include multinodular goiter, thyroiditis, and excessive iodine intake. Hyperthyroidism comes with a range of symptoms, and they can be pretty distressing. Here are some common ones. Rapid or irregular heartbeat. Unexplained weight loss despite normal or increased appetite. Nervousness and irritability. Tremors and muscle weakness. Excessive sweating. Intolerance to heat. Changes in menstrual patterns mostly amenorrhea or oligomenorrhea, that is when woman does not have or have infrequent periods. Alopecia. Frequent bowel movements. An enlargement in the neck, called a goiter. Bulging eyes, in Graves' disease. Now let's discuss the treatment options for hyperthyroidism. Managing this condition is crucial to avoid complications. Treatment may include antithyroid medicine. These reduced thyroid hormone synthesis include methimazole and propylthiouracil. Symptoms usually improve within several weeks to months. Antithyroid drugs are usually given for 12 to 18 months. Although rare, serious liver damage can happen with both antithyroid medications more common with propylthyracil. People allergic to these medicines may develop skin rashes, hives, fever, or joint pain. Beta blockers. These medicines don't affect thyroid hormone levels, but they can improve symptoms of hyperthyroidism, such as a tremor, rapid heart rate, and heart palpitations. These medicines are not recommended for asthmatic patients. Side effects may include fatigue and sexual problems. Radioiodine therapy. The thyroid gland takes up radioiodine, which destroys the overactive thyroid cells and causes gland to shrink. This medicine is taken by mouth. Radioiodine therapy isn't used for pregnant or breastfeeding women. Thyroidectomy is done to remove part of or all of the thyroid gland. It may be a choice for those who can't take antithyroid medicine and don't want to or can't take radioiodine therapy. Risks of this surgery include damage to the vocal cords and parathyroid glands. People who have a thyroidectomy or radioiodine therapy need lifelong treatment with the medicine levothyroxine. In addition to medical treatments, some lifestyle and dietary changes can help manage hyperthyroidism, reducing stress through relaxation techniques, avoiding foods high in iodine, such as seaweed and iodized salt, ensuring a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins, regularly monitoring thyroid hormone levels with your healthcare provider, now let's discuss the complication of hyperthyroidism if it left untreated. Untreated hyperthyroidism can cause serious health issues, including atrial fibrillation or an irregular heartbeat that can lead to blood clots, stroke, heart failure, and other heart-related problems. An eye disease called Graves' ophthalmopathy, osteoporosis, and increases risk of fractures, muscle weakness by breakdown of muscle due to overactive metabolism, irregular menstrual cycle and fertility issues, Hyperthyroidism is a challenging condition, but with the right treatment and lifestyle changes, you can manage it effectively. If you suspect you have hyperthyroidism or experience any of the symptoms we discussed, please consult a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and personalized treatment plan. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe for more informative content.